Hotel of the President's Daughter, A Narrative of Slave Life in the United States in 1853 by William Wells Brown, narrator Kamisha Hartfield. Clotel or the President's Daughter is a novel written by William Wells Brown, an African-American writer and former slave. Published in 1853, Clotel is often considered the first novel written by an African-American author. The book is a significant piece of American literature that explores the themes of slavery, race, and the complex interplay between power and identity in a 19th century America. Drawing on what was, in the 19th century, rumors that Thomas Jefferson had children with his slave Sally Hemings, the novel follows the slave Clotel and her family as they are sold to different masters. The novel is more than the story of a fictional slave, however. Brown includes newspaper articles, advertisements, and real-life anecdotes to present a picture of the horrors of slavery and to add credibility to his account. Clotel is the daughter of Sally Hemings, a bright mulatto, and Thomas Jefferson, whose house Hemings kept when she hired herself out from her master, John Graves. Hemings, Clotel, and Clotel's sister, Althessa, are sold following John Graves' death. Clotel, at the age of 16, is purchased by Horatio Green a wealthy young man who had fallen in love with her at a party the two had attended. As she stands at the auction, Clotel is described as having a complexion as white as most of those who were waiting with a wish to become her purchaser. She had long, black, wavy hair and stands with a tall and graceful form. She fetches a hefty price given her virtue, Christianity, and intelligence. When Horatio's wife insists on selling Clotel, she is treated cruelly by her mistress, Mrs. French. As a light-skinned woman, she is also envied by other slaves, who believe her to think herself superior. She eventually escapes slavery with William, another slave, by pretending she is his white master. When William and Clotel reach the free states, Clotel returns to Virginia to find Mary but fails to discover any news about her. She is arrested in her hotel room shortly after Nat Turner's rebellion and brought to a Negro pen in Washington, D.C. to await her return to New Orleans. After escaping, she makes it to the Long Bridge within view of the White House and the Capitol. However, she is surrounded by officers and leaps to her death. Brown writes that if she had been born in any other land but that of slavery, she would have been honored and loved for her virtues of goodness of heart. Clotel, with her poetic nature, godliness, tenderness, and difference, is established as the picture of ideal. Brown observation of women slaves depict the exploitation and objectification. The novel depicts the harsh reality of enslaved women who are often exploited and objectified by their owners. Women were subjected to sexual exploitation and the narrative highlights the vulnerability of enslaved women in the face of their owner's desires. There was family separation. The novel underscores the painful impact of slavery on families as enslaved women were often separated from their children and loved ones. The institution of slavery disrupted family structures, causing immense emotional suffering. The mulatto women, the term mulatto refers to individuals of mixed racial heritage, usually the offspring of a white parent and a black parent. The novel explores the experiences of mulatto women who face unique challenges and prejudices due to their mixed race. Clotel is the daughter of Thomas Jefferson and one of his slaves, and her statue as a mulatto adds layers of complexity to her story. The Escape in Freedom Some women in the novel attempt to escape from slavery in search of freedom. The narrative explores the risks and challenges these women face as they seek to break free from the oppressive system of slavery. 
resistance. Enslaved women are portrayed as resilient and capable of resistance, whether through small facts of defiance or more significant efforts to secure their freedom. The novel highlights the strength and courage of these women in the face of adversity. Intersectionality. Clotel examines the intersectionality of race and gender, illustrating how the experiences of enslaved women were shaped by both their racial and gender identities. The novel contributes to discussions about the unique challenges faced by Black women in the context of slavery. It's important to note that Clotel is a work of fiction, but it draws on the author's experience and observation of the harsh realities of slavery. Clotel is notable not only for its themes and narrative structure, but also for his, its historical significance as a pioneering work of African-American literature. William Wells Brown, an escaped slave himself, wrote the novel during a time when slavery was a contentious and divisive issue in the United States. His storytelling and narrative skill helped to evaluate the voices of enslaved and marginalized people making a lasting contribution to the abolitionist movement. In conclusion, Cotel, or the President's Daughter, is a powerful and poignant work that dives into the complex issues of slavery, race, and the identity in a 19th century America. Through the character of Clotel and her descendants, William Wells Brown confronts the moral and ethical challenges of a society that profess freedom and equality while perpetuating the inhumane situation of slavery. The novel's historical significance as one of the first written by an African-American author makes it a crucial piece of American literature that continues to resonate with readers today shedding light on a dark chapter in the nation's history. Thank you.